includes options for mapping your keyboard and joystick controls. It's a, those are accessed by clicking on options. There are a lot of different things to do to, to, to mess with here. But I'm going to talk about controls and then, for example, map keys. That brings up a picture of your keyboard and a list of functions that can be mapped to buttons. The functions are divided by type. For example, the flight functions are listed in this list because I clicked on flight and I can scroll that list up and down by dragging this scroll bar in the usual way. There are also view commands for looking around. So by clicking on view, I now have a list of commands that are associated with looking around. And similarly, that list can be dragged up and down. You may have noticed that I can look to the left or to the right or behind me. I'm pressing buttons on my numeric keypad to do that. And so by selecting view and then scrolling down this list to look back, for example, I can highlight look back and you can see that I'm pressing this button on my numeric keypad to look back. It turns out that that feels natural because there's a back arrow here. There's a little arrow pointing backward on every keyboard here. Similarly, look forward is this button right here. And that mapping is done because I selected this and the keypad 8, which if you look at your keypad has a forward-looking arrow. Similarly, this one has a left-looking arrow. and use that for looking left, looking right. So by clicking on different buttons, I could change that, but I don't want to do that. I want to leave my look forward to this 8 button. If you want to change the way your view keys work, this is the kind of command power you've got by associating a function with a button and then clicking on set key. I'm going to cancel that right now. You can also map flight keys. For example, by clicking on flight, here's the list of flight commands. Remember we talked about flaps? Lowering flaps is the Q button. Raising flaps is the W button, the way I have things mapped. You might think that's a little crazy, and I'll tell you why I use Q and W for that. It turns out you just need to use all the letters of the alphabet for various commands. and. Uh, you just kind of have to learn what they are. It, it turns out that you can later associate these buttons, these, these letters, with buttons on your joystick. And that allows you to have them much more conveniently located. I don't actually press Q and W on my keyboard very much. When I want to lower and raise my flaps, I use buttons on my joystick instead. Um, one command you're going to want to know about right away is in the global commands area to control your microphone. Because you're going to want to hear and speak to people. And so, let's see, where is it? Microphone, oh, voice transmit channel, right there. I've mapped that to key F11, function key 11. It normally starts out as T, press for talk. And if you are, you've got a brand new system, you press T uh, and have a microphone, you'll be talking on one of the radio channels. A lot of people leave it with T. I prefer it F11, and so I mapped it that way. Get familiar with these things and map the important ones, and uh, your experience will be much better.